In this packet, we will look at limits. Here is the definition and notation of writing limits. Some examples where the limit as x approaches a being equal to the limit l. Note, recall that an open circle means the point is not included, where a closed circle means the point is included. Sometimes you need to look at a limit of a function on one side. Here is the definition for those one-sided limits. An example. If we look on the left and right side of x equals 3, we can see that the limit as x gets closer to 3, the limit gets closer to 6. Now we will look at infinite limits. For part A, we want the limit of the function as x goes to 0 from the right. As x goes to 0 from the right, the y values blow up and gets larger and larger, which ends up going to infinity. For part b, we see that x goes to infinity from the left. The y values blow up again, but as a larger and larger negative number, so it goes to negative infinity. By doing the limit as x goes to 0 from the left and right, we can see that the limit of the function as x goes to infinity does not exist, since the limits differ on both sides of zero. 
some more examples with infinite limits. For this example, we see that the limit is negative infinity as x approaches a. In this example, we see that looking at x approaches a, we have to look at the limit from the left side of a. And looking at the limit as x approaches a from the left, we get the limit equaling positive infinity. This example, as x approaches a, we have to look from the right, and the limit is infinity. Here, as x approaches a, from the left goes to infinity, and from the right it goes to negative infinity. So the limit as x approaches a does not exist. Here are some limit laws. Here are some examples using the limit laws. Breaking this down the way we are, we get to a point where we're looking at limits of some basic function. This is just a parabola, y equals x squared. This is just a line y equals x. And this is your basic constant function, y equals 1, which is just a horizontal line. Just a quick reminder of what those functions look like. And since we are looking at this, the limit as x approaches 2 for each of these, we can go to the graph and see. If we plot x equals 2, we can see where that intersects each function and in turn see the limit. So, for the limit of x squared as x goes to 2, we get 4. For the limit of x as approaches 2, we get 2. And for the limit of 1 as x approaches 2, we get 1.
and our limit of the function 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 as x goes to 2 is 3. Again, looking at the function on the graph, we can see it matches what we did algebraically using the limit loss. Next example, we do a similar process. Use limit laws to evaluate the limit of the function. Another example. Notice we can simplify the expression by factoring the top and bottom. This is actually an example of a graph that has a hole in it at x equals negative 3. It doesn't show the hole in the graph, but it is important to know it's there. Now we can make use of the limit laws to evaluate the limit of the function as x goes to negative 3. 